What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. It has been a crazy 12 hours. Last night I let all three of my dogs out and they attacked a skunk. And one of them got completely sprayed. She ran in the house, my whole entire house. I mean, you literally couldn't even walk in the downstairs part of my house without gagging because the smell was so bad. So everyone slept in different rooms. It's been crazy. Then we were supposed to move into our new house tomorrow morning, but my closing got delayed a week. It's just been crazy. So I'm hungry. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a steak. Now it is so easy. So many people are scared to make a steak because they think it's so hard to make when really all you need is a couple things. So here we go. Most importantly, you need a cast iron skillet. I mean, unless you are doing it on the grill, I don't recommend using anything besides a cast iron skillet. They are the best. They conduct heat the best out of any type of pan, and they're gonna make the best steak that you've ever had. For ingredients wise, you're gonna need olive oil, of course, about a tablespoon of coarse salt, black pepper, three tablespoons of butter, rosemary and thyme, crushed garlic, and then this right here, this is a boneless strip steak. This is about a pound. It's a beautiful piece right there. Not valid? Yeah, start hurting my videos. <laughs> so he's always got a, you know, he's always got a comment in the background of my videos, as you can tell. So basically, I have my cast iron skillet here getting as hot as possible. You're gonna to wanna to turn your heat up to medium high and you wanna let it sit, that, sit there for about three to four, even five minutes, just to get as hot as possible. Then you're gonna take your steak and the first thing you're gonna do is take your kosher salt, kosher salt sorry, and you're gonna to wanna to just cover this steak with salt. Don't be scared, it's all gonna cook off. And you know, a lot of people will go to the store and they'll buy steak seasoning and this and that, and put all the extra on the steak. You don't need it, you really don't. This is all you need to make an amazing steak, I promise you. I like to rub a little salt on the sides here. Okay. So first things first, we're gonna take our olive oil. You're gonna put enough to coat the bottom of your cast iron skillet. So I'm gonna say a heavy tablespoon. Definitely about a heavy tablespoon of olive oil on there. Okay, so now my oil is perfect temperature. It is ready for the steak. I'm going to go ahead and put my steak in there. For something about this thick, this is about an inch and a half it looks like. I would do about two and a half minutes on each side for medium rare. Three minutes on each side for medium. Now that right there is the sound you want. Listen. I wish I had a microphone so you could hear that. I mean, that is amazing. It is perfect. It is gonna sit here for about two and a half minutes, and then I'm gonna flip it over, and when I flip it over, I'm gonna start basting it, and I'll give you a little bit better of an angle of that. All right, it's time to flip that bad boy. Oh yeah, that looks nice. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add my butter my fresh herb and my garlic and this is going to melt down and this is what you're going to use to bake. It's kind of hard to show you guys because this continuously turns off if I lift it up. It's a safety feature. So what you're going to do is you're going to lift this up just a little bit and you're going to take all that and you're just going to baste it and just keep basting it, you know, get those herbs in there, that garlic. Kind of, you know, just, just freehand it. You just want to make sure you get all that in there. And you're going to do this for about two and a half, three minutes. And then your steak will be ready to come off. Okay, so now that my steak has come off, it is beautiful, it looks nice and rare, that's how I like it. If you don't like it like that, just cook it a little longer, it'll be fine. Leave it a couple more minutes on each side. I was kidding for what I said before. If you like your steak well done, just leave it for like five, six minutes on both sides until you feel that it's ready. Just whatever you do, do not add pepper before you cook the steak. That is a big misconception that happens a lot. A lot of people put pepper on their steak before they cook it. 
that is not what you want to do. The pepper will burn. So after the steak comes off, what you're going to want to do is you're also you're going to want to let it rest for five minutes, of course. And then now you're going to want to add the pepper while it's resting. And beautiful. Now it's going to sit for about five minutes while all those juices just tenderize and it's going to be so good. I can't wait to show you when it's cut open. Okay, now while my steak is resting, I want to take a second to talk to you guys about mashed potatoes. <laughs> now, I love mashed potatoes. Joey and I, we have them with almost every meal. But if you've ever made mashed potatoes, you know that it is such a long process. It's literally about an hour process for mashed potatoes. So if you want something quick that takes 15 minutes like a steak, but then one mashed potatoes with it, that, you know, it makes it a whole entire process. So Joey put me on to these Idahoan instant mashed potatoes. Now I know how this looks. Shut the fuck up. They're really good, I promise you. It takes, they take about five minutes to make and they are absolutely amazing. Okay, so now it's time to slice. Sorry, this knife is not sharp at all. Someone please sponsor me with a new knife set. This knife is actually dull. So this actually came out a little more on the medium side, solely because while I was basting, I was talking to you guys, so it was on for about a minute extra, but... I like about like that anyway. I don't. Well, I haven't cut the scene anyway. 